Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to day six of my project to open a Pokemon product every day for November. Today I'm going to open up another booster box of the XY Evolution set that came out earlier this month. Now, between us, me and Laura have opened six boxes already, I believe. You can see the first one on my channel here already. I'll, put, I'll give you guys a link to that here. Um, so we're left just needing a few cards. Um, I know Laura still needs one full art, which is the Venusaur. Mm -hmm. I need five full arts, I think, so I still need quite a bit. And then other than that, it's just a few EXs and stuff. I think I actually maybe need a couple of hollows too. But what we're going to do is we're just going to dive right in. We'll get the box open. And we'll see what we get. Um, so for anyone who didn't watch the last video or hasn't seen much of the set, uh, all of the Pokemon within the set, apart from the EXs and breaks, are close to being reprints of base set. They all use the original art. They use the, the original card layout. Um, but they have like updated attacks, updated HP, weaknesses, stuff like that. It's not 100% identical, but it's pretty close. And as we now know, there are five sort of secret rares in the set, secret and commons maybe a better term. They do have the rare symbol, but they appear in the uncommon slot and they're easy enough to get a hold of. Uh, I think they just have about the same rarity as any other uncommon. Maybe slightly rarer than that. I think they're definitely rarer than more uncommons. By the way, I'm here today, guys. Um, they've, uh, they were, we got one of each in the first box, but then they've yeah. kind of dropped off since then, it seems like. It seems like maybe about we, three, three per box. Yeah, maybe. I've gotten about three, maybe four per box. Okay, well, we'll see. I think that they're, they're definitely more common than individual rares, I think. Definitely more common than individual hollows. Um, there are nowhere near as rare as other secret rares have Yeah, been, so. that's absolutely there, true. there may be somewhere around the regular rare rate level. But what we'll do is we'll just jump in and we'll talk about anything that comes up as we're going through. So, pack number one. We've got a Ghastly. A Growlithe. A Metal Energy. Some of the energy cards were actually hard to find. Uh, I think as we were opening it, we were on to our third box before we both had a non-hollow water energy for our set, which was kind of crazy. Uh, Staryu, a Drowsy, a Reverse Magikarp, an Arcanine, a Coughing, a Switch, and a Metapod. Arcanine was one of the cards that got bumped up from being an uncommon to being a rare. Um, I don't know exactly how many non hollow rares there are in the set, but you tend to see a lot of the same ones. I think there is only a very small number of non hollow rares in the set. Okay, we have a Sandshrew, Ghastly, Magikarp, Electabuzz. He was one of the ones that went from rare all the way down to common. A Vulpix, a Reverse Metapod, a Starmie, went up from common to rare. Up Flying Pikachu, that's one of the. Uh, Secret rares or secret uncommons. So you'll see the set number or the card number is higher than the set number, and it does have the rare symbol uh, rather than an uncommon symbol. And he's super cute. A haunter and a maintenance. Okay, on to pack number three. We have got a Nidoran male, an Onyx, a Growlithe, a Machop. A Pikachu, a Reverse Hollow Caterpie, ooh, Mega Venusaur X, really cool. I think I still need one of these for my set, maybe. We'll put him down over there. Got Devolution Spray, Magma, and a Switch. And next pack. I think maybe I have one for my main set, but the way I organize my sets, I put my Reverse Hollows after my regular set, so I like to get a second one of each EX, Mega, stuff like that. Anything that's in the middle of the set, just so there's no gaps in my reverse holo set. Okay, we have a Drowsy, a Ponyta, a Nidoran Male, a Machop, a Growlithe, a Reverse Charizard Spirit Link, that looks really cool. A Mewtwo, a Magma. Oh, that's another one of the secret Rares, which is Here Comes Team Rocket supporter card. And Revive. Here Comes Team Rocket was in the uh, Rockets expansion as both a hollow 
and a regular rare. Um, it wasn't in the original base set. I think a lot of the trainers that are in here, in here weren't in the original base set. I think mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. There's a few. There's quite a lot of original trainers as well with all the spirit links and stuff. Okay, we have a Charmander, a Seal, a Magnemite, a Ghastly, a Poliwag. Oh, we have a Starmy Break, a Doug Trio, a Revive, a Misty's Determination, and a Coughing. Put the Break out there. Breaks obviously along, breaks along with EXs and the Mega EXs, some of the ones that are just completely new to the set, not the print and base set, because obviously these mechanics just weren't around back then. They're introduced fairly recently. We have a Voltorb, a Magnemite, a Caterpie, a Rattata, a Charmander, a Reverse Coughing. Ooh, nice. I think I need that guy. That's a Hollow Magneton. I'm going to heat the Hollows out too because there aren't actually that many of them that you get in a box. We have a Pidgeot Spirit Link, a Porygon, and a Pokedex. Okay, so far we're at one Mega EX, one Break and one regular hollow. It's not often in boxes you want to track how many regular hollows you get, but in this set you don't actually get too many, so it's always nice getting them. Okay, we have a Staryu, a Doduo, a Ponyta, a Tangela, a Weedle, a Reverse Hollow Grass Energy, that's nice. really cool, a Farfetch'd, a Porygon, a Misty's Determination, and Surfing Pikachu, hey. he's another one of the uh, secret res slash uncommons. He's interesting because he's an electric type and his energy cost is double water for uh... I don't think you get that super often, do you, uh, other than with dragon types where the... Uh... I mean, it happens with some Pokemon that evolve into different types as well. Okay. Um, like the C-Dot line. Oh, uh, does that often change? Sometimes. Okay. Okay, we have an Electabuzz, a Vulpix, a Rattata, Grass Energy, Poliwag, a Reverse Growlithe, a Beedrill, Brock's Grit, Devolution Spray, and a Nidorino. Yeah, I think that that's only, that I think was only the second uh, non-foil basic energy we've seen too, mm -hmm. which is just how rare they are. So the only secret rare slash uncommons that we're missing from the set are well, from this box, uh, these, the Imakuni's Do Duo and the Bilingual Executor. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we get those. Okay, we have a Magikarp, an Onyx, a Sandshrew, a Vulpix, an Electabuzz, a Reverse Diglett. Oh, cool, a Dragonite EX. I think we have quite a few of him. Uh, we have a Haunter. Oh, Yay. there's Imakuni's Do Duo. This one's one of the cards that... In Japan, it was kind of a joke card. It's never meant for tournament play. It's quite cool, though. And we have a Metapod in that pack, too. So that's uh, <laughs> about a quarter of the way through the box, and we have four out of the five secret yeah, rare special commons. So. had many more than yeah, the last of... five boxes yeah. we opened. Okay, we have an Electabuzz, a Drowsy, a Ponyta, a Nidoran Male, a Matchup, a Reverse Poliwag, a Dewgong, a Full Heal, a Matchup, and a Switch. I think I've seen a few Reverse Hollows so far that I know we need for our set, so that's pretty good. Uh, we did order a, just a full case. This is the last box out of our case that we haven't opened yet. So we have an Nidoran Mail, a Ponytail, a Pikachu, a Poliwag, a Caterpie, a reverse switch. Ooh, Ooh. Clefairy. Clefairy is actually the only fairy type Pokemon in the whole set. There's no darkness types, there's no, no metal no. types, no dragon types, and there was just this one Clefairy as the the lone fairy type, which is a it's a bit weird, but I guess they couldn't just make it colorless. I mean, games. It's got the same colorless attacks, which is it's kind of odd. We have double colorless, Charizard Spirit Link. And a Metapod. It's one of the throwback cards, but Clefairy is now pretty much exclusively fairy type in the TCG, I think. So. It's kind of 
kind of a nice nod to the new era. Yeah. Okay, we have a seal, a magnemite, a ghastly, a polywag, a voltorb, a reverse devolution spray, an electrode, a metapod, a potion, and Venusaur Spirit Link. That artwork on that Electro has actually been printed more than most artworks because <laughs> that artwork was mistakenly put on the, uh, I think it was all first edition jungle electrodes. Yeah. The non hollow ones had the base set artwork by mistake. Uh, it's probably still not in as many cards as Charizard's base set artwork though because he's on a lot. Because he was in he was in Stormfront as well. Speaking of Charizard, we probably shouldn't expect any from this box, right? Probably not. We've had I think <laughs> more than our fair yeah, share. Yeah, I think we had a we've got one hollow, two reverse, two reverses, two full art megas. Yeah, and two regular megas, and I think one regular EX. Maybe yeah. yeah. It was quite we got a few. we got quite a lot of Charizards. Okay, so we have a Ghastly, a Caterpie, an Electric Energy. A lightning energy, <laughs> magic up, a seal, a reverse ghastly. Ooh, Blastoise EX. He's pretty cool. I think we've had a few of him already from the ones we've opened. Mm -hmm. Kakuna, coughing, and a machoke. Yeah, quite a lot of Blastoise EX actually. I've seen him definitely more than I've seen any other EX. I think. I think so. Yeah. I think the only I think the only regular EX we have zero of is uh, Slowbro currently. Yeah, that's I think true. we have we have one of the Megas between us. No, we have two. Do we? Do we yeah, get two you Megas? Got, you okay. got one. Okay, we have Fighting Energy, a Magic Cup, an Onyx, a Sandshrew, a Vulpix, ooh, a Reverse Fire Energy, a Beedrill, a Maintenance, a Potion, and a Machoke. Next pack. We've got a Raptor, Grass Energy, Poliwag, Nidoran Male, Onyx, a Reverse Misty's Determination. Ooh, nice, a Hollow Machan. He's in the packs this time. He isn't just in some weird starter set with <laughs> first edition stamped on every copy. He's not and even in any of the decks. No, he's not. I thought that I thought that would have been quite funny if they just deliberately not put any match champ in the booster packs, and then just waited until everyone noticed and then released some other product with <laughs> match champ in and given him a first edition stamp. Oh. Just, it feels like he should have a first edition stamp just because he's base he's base set match champ. Yeah. It feels weird looking at him without the <laughs> first edition stamp. Okay, we have a Nidorino, a Professor Oak's hint. And a Charmeleon. Just being a weird looking card, that Nidorino I yeah. still can't look at. Oh, because it changed from being a grass type to a psychic <laughs> type? It's just too purple. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know what the. anyone who doesn't know much about base set, uh, basically every copy of base set Machamp had a first edition symbol, even in later print runs that weren't first edition, and it was never in any booster packs, it was only in the starter sets. Um, we're not entirely sure, no one's really sure why they made every copy first edition, they've never come out and said, but. They just did, and it's a bit odd. Okay, Doduo, Caterpie, Drowsy, Diglett, Charmander, a Reverse Kakuna, an Electrode, Professor Oak's Hint, Brock Script, and Poliwhirl. I guess maybe we just always wanted to market the uh, two-player starter set as coming with a first edition yeah. card every it's time. And very desirable. Yeah, it's now worth completely nothing because they killed the market it's not true like some variations because obviously you can still get shadowless match amps mm -hmm. so those are still worth a bit more and you can get base 2000 versions which have the altered copyright dates so they're worth a bit more but they're still they're not worth anywhere near what other first edition stamped cards are okay we have a pikachu a psychic energy a charmander a ratata a diglett a reverse electabuzz a radicate a polyworld a Charizard Spirit Link, and a Charmeleon. Okay, we're on to the last pack of the first half of the box. So we haven't actually done too bad for mm -hmm. the first half of the box. We have three regular hollows, two EXs, a Mega EX, and a Break. Here's we have Voltorb, Weedle, Rattata, Tangler, Staryu, a Reverse Magnemite. Ooh. Ooh! Full Art Brock's Grit. That's the first full art we've seen from the box. 
one of the two trainers that comes in full art. There's Brock's Grit and Misty's Determination. Okay, we have Maintenance, a regular Brock's Grit. Double Brock's Grit. And a Super Potion. I don't know if when it comes to like the ratio of what you're supposed to get in a box, there's like so many hollows, so many breaks, so many full arts. But I don't know if EXs and Megas are like together in the ratio. I think they are. Yeah, rather than have to saying you're supposed to get this many EXs and this many Megas. Speaking of, going into the second half, what are we hoping to get from the second half of this box? Um, I'd like a full art that I don't have yet, because I think that's our fourth Brock screen. <laughs> A full art Mega Venusaur would be great. Yeah, for you. Because <laughs> Laura, Laura gets the first one of all the sets that we open. Um, and then I get the second ones. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's much more we're missing. I think I've got some good hollows and stuff that I need. But... Yeah, really just some reverses that we're looking for. Maybe yeah. a couple more. Hollows. Are you still missing the regular? You're not missing the regular Charizard EX, are you? Um, no, I, I think you got don't that think one. so. But I'd like to see the regular Charizard EX, because I still mm. need that Yeah, one. who wouldn't? <laughs> okay. Or just a reverse holo Charizard. Or... Like... You have a reverse holo Charizard. Yeah, but value. <laughs> That's true. Maybe if one of the packs was like mistaken and just contained 15 pre-release staff Charizards, that would be quite nice. I would be very okay with that. They also only have 10 cards in them, so <laughs> having 15 would be a set. <laughs> I think they're opening magic again. Okay, a Charmander, a Seal. A Staryu, a Dodo, a Ponyta, a Reverse Haunter. Oh, Nine Tails. That one's pretty cool. Fire Blast is not only not missing the damage, but it's increased the damage. <laughs> In base set, there was a number of Nine Tails printed where they just didn't have the damage that the attack does. So in it, the number was eighty. It now does one hundred and twenty. So the the uh, damage is there and massively increased. Energy retrieval. Venusaur Spirit Pink and a Charmeleon. There's quite a few different uh, errors in base set. Notice that they, they didn't put the War Turtle in, so oh, he yeah. can't evolve from himself. They made Blastoise a basic, so they can't miss out the word stage <laughs> and put it on the stage one Pokemon anymore. Yeah, they're uh, fixing all their mistakes yeah. by just getting rid of them. And they got rid of Diglett's first attack, so the energy <laughs> can't be sideways. It's great, that's, that's how you fix things, just completely remove the error. Okay, we have a Seal, a Magnemite, a Ghastly, a Poliwag, a Voltorb, a Reverse Seal, Double seal. a Farfetch'd, a Full Heal, a Machoke, and a Switch. How do you explain how they fixed uh, Vulpix's HP problem? Well, I don't know, they just... I think they just uh, got it right. They just fi <laughs> finally saw that. They didn't just print Vulpix without any HP, because that would be another problem with the other. <laughs> Because they, they did that with a Dark Persian promo for a while, and no one was really sure how to rule it. Some people were like, oh, does it just die when you put it on the bench? And it's like, obviously not. <laughs> so why would they do that? Okay, you have a Magikarp, an Electabuzz, a Vulpix, a Rata, Grass Energy, a Reverse Sandshrew, a Mewtwo, a Venusaur Spirit Link, a Potion, and a Kakuna. You guys will probably notice that there are you are starting to see quite a lot of duplicates of the non holo rares, like I mentioned earlier. Like it is, it's definitely more prevalent in this set than it is in other sets to be getting uh, multiple copies of the same ones. Okay, we got Fire Energy, a Vulpix, a Tangler, a Matchup, a Weedle, a Reverse Voltorb. Ooh, Ooh. nice! That's what I wanted. Charizard EX, cool. Charizard Spirit Link. Double Colas and a Nidorino. Nice, so I definitely needed that one. Now just for some full art that I need. Because <laughs> it's nice to keep getting Mega Charizard EX full art, but... You can have too yeah. many. Okay, we've got Dark Energy, a Vulpix, a Nidoran Male, a Ponyta, a Pikachu, a Reverse Weedle, a Beedrill, a Metapod, a Potion, and a Venusaur Spirit Link. That Dark Energy is something I'd like to see in Reverse. We haven't actually yeah, gotten th one yet. Yeah, I think it's Dark and Metal we haven't gotten a Reverse of yet. The energies. Also worth noting, um, this this wasn't a sealed case when we got it. It was six individual boxes. So even though they all came from the same person, they might not be the six boxes from a case, which That's might explain true. why we got... I meant to ask about that. So many full art. Eventually. Yeah, so many full arts and... Stuff which were the same. Yeah, so many duplicates and 
Uh, none at all of a few things. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have a Voltorb, a Machop, a Growlithe, a Water Energy, hooray, a Magnemite, a... Ooh, Machamp Break. I'm pretty sure I needed him too. So many arms. So many arms. He looks so angry. <laughs> He's so ripped. Uh, Dugo, Charizard Spirit Link, Super Potion, and a Machoke. Oh, we also want Bilingual Executor, just because why not have another yeah. one? We have quite a few of those anyway, but... Uh, and as far as we can tell, the secret res slash uncommons do not come in reverse form. I haven't seen anyone who can provide picture evidence. I've seen a lot of people claiming they have them, but as soon as you say, can you send me a picture, then they clam up. <laughs> okay, we have a Dodo, a Caterpie, a Drowsy, a Diglett, a Charmander, a Reverse Ponyta, ooh, a Mew, he's cool, you can go in there, Macho, Full Heal, Kukuna. It's kind of like with other things in the Pokemon community where I've been sure they don't exist, but I'm trying to check and I'm like, oh, well, can anyone send me a photo? And they're like, no, but my, like, my brother's friend's cousin definitely saw one once and... <laughs> Or like, oh, my friend definitely had this and he said he was offered $10,000 for it and then he burned it for fun. I was like, okay, sure, that <laughs> happened. Uh, Ponyta, Tangler, Weedle, Sandrew, Ghastly, a Reverse Nidorino, Electrode, Super Potion, Double Colorless Energy, and Professor Oak's Hint. Notably the not at all like what Professor Oak did. Professor Oak had the same effect as Sycamore and Juniper, which was just discard your hand draw seven, but as a trainer rather than a supporter. Okay, Caterpie, Ghastly, Diglett, Charmander, Voltorb, a Reverse Raticate, a regular Raticate, Hooray. Devolution Spray, Double Colorless, and Charmeleon. Because if you're gonna get one Raticate, you might as well get two. Yeah. And why would one of them not be in your left slot? So if they're trying to evoke nostalgia, then they did. There's, uh, there's nothing worse than just <laughs> getting cards that you know used to be uncommons as your rares. We have a Staryu, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Weedle, Magikarp, a Reverse Charmander. Ooh, Ooh. Hollow Zapdos. He's cool. We've got a lot more Hollows from this box than we have from. Uh, Especially our first box, where we only got three regular hollows. Yeah, I think we're uh, making up for that in a yeah. much bigger lack of EXs. Yeah, our first box had a lot of those, though. Uh, Polywell, Maintenance, and Potion. I think this is a lot closer to the... Average? Like, to, yeah, to the ratio that we've been told by other people who've opened up boxes. I think my champ break might have been the last break I needed, which is cool. Okay, Pikachu. Go do -do. Caterpie, Drowsy, Diglett, a Reverse Weedle, another Electrode, <laughs> Slowbro Spirit Link, Nidorino, Devolution Spray. That went well. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm starting to think that maybe the uh, secret rares are definitely rarer than non holo rares because there's loads of the non holo rares really in duplicates of. Yeah. Okay, uh, Nidoran Mail, Seal, Diglett, Poliwag. Sandshrew, a Reverse Magma, Arcanine, Energy Retrieval, Magma, Slow Bro Spirit Link. You're getting a lot of double packs. We are. But, yeah, it happens, I guess. Not as bad as, what was it, Legendary Collection? What happened in the Legendary Collection? Oh, yeah, because Legendary Collection was done in a way where... You could like, draft or... It like was kind of it was it? kind of done for sealed. Whereas, like, if your rare was Alakazam, you'd have a Kadabra and two Abras in yeah. the pack. It was a bit weird, but that's how it happened. I remember opening a pack with three Caterpies and just dying on the inside. Yeah, at least it only affected the commons, and it wasn't like replacing rares or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a Growlithe, a Water Energy, a Magnemite, a Charmander, a Seal, a Reverse Charmeleon. Oh. Aww. Well, he's there. <laughs> he's not the non mega form, though. Polywell, Misty's Determination, and a Blastoise Spirit Link. 
I'm kind of hoping we get at least another full art from the rest of the packs, because I think every other box we've had has had at least two full arts in it. Yeah. I don't think we've ever had one with just the one in before. Okay, Tangler. Weedle. Sandshrew. Ghastly. Magikarp. A reverse Nidoran male. Duck Trio. I think he's the first Duck Trio we've seen in this box. Which is crazy, considering how many we've got of him so far. Yeah. Energy Retrieval. Horner. And a Pokedex. How many packs we've got left? I'm hoping for Four packs. Mega Venusaur Full Art, regular Slowbro, yeah. Out of the last four packs? Yeah, seems fine. I'd like any Full Art that I don't have <laughs> would be fine. Weedle, Rattata, Tangler, Staryu, a Fighting Energy, a Reverse Farfetch, a Dugong, a Poliwhirl, a Pidgeot Spirit Link, my last Ice Spirit Link. That was a disappointing pack. Yeah, Farfetch'd is cute. It's yeah. a little weak. Yeah, it's a little weak. You know where that comes from, right? I believe it's this... like the duck shows yeah, up. Yeah, there's, there's a, a there's a duck. there's a saying in Japan. He's not really. It's not lucky for him. <laughs> there's a saying in Japan called a, which means something is lucky, which is a duck comes along carrying its own leak. Um, because when you eat duck, you generally eat it with a leak. So it's like, oh great, it brought its own trimmings for when you're about to kill and eat it. Yeah, so, alright, it's lucky for you. I yeah, it's, it's not it's lucky, lucky for, for you. Me. It's not really lucky for the for the duck that's brought its legal on. Okay, a Poliwag, a Nidoran male, an Onyx, a Growlithe, a Machop, a Reverse Machop. Oh, there uh, we go. Okay, okay. I needed that one. Full Art, Misty's Determination. Cool. Uh, Super Potion. Slowbro Spirit Link, and a Revive. I think my hopes for anything I needed have just been dashed. I'm pretty sure you still got at least a few reverses you need to put in this box, so... Yeah, okay. But we have two more packs, we have two more packs to go, I'm still hoping on those, uh, 10 or 15 or... <laughs> for, for, 40 staff previous Charizards. Yeah, that'll fit in one pack. It will. Onyx. Staryu. Pikachu. Doduo. Ponyta. Reverse Tangler, Raticate, Blastoise Spirit Link, Pidgeot Spirit Link, and a Kakuna. This pack will also be our last chance. Last pack will be the last chance to get the Executor to. That's true. Or he will just not be in this box. Who knows? Okay, we got a Poliwag. We got a Caterpie. All notable for being not Staff Privilege Charizards. <laughs> Diglett, Voltorb, Matchup. Reverse Blastoise Spirit Link. Oh, Starmie. Pokedex. Porygon. And Full Heal. But that was still not a bad box. We got Starmie Break, Machamp Break. Uh, so, yeah, we got Starmie Break, Machamp Break. Uh, the two Full Arts, Misty's Determination, and Brock's Grit. That was a pretty cool. EX as we got Mega Slowbro, Charizard, Blastoise, Dragonite, Mega Venusaur. And regular foils, we've got Zapdos, Mew, Ninetales, Machamp, Clefairy, and Magneton. So, all in all, it hasn't been the worst box. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said earlier, this is part of an ongoing series where I've been opening up a different Pokemon product every day and will continue to do so for the whole of November. Yesterday, if you missed it, was a Mega Beedrill box. I'll put a link to that here, so you can go and check that out if you want. And if you pop back tomorrow, you will see me opening up these two Double Crisis Blisters uh, one of the Aqua ones, one of the Magma ones, each with four packs of Double Crisis. So we'll be getting those open. I'll talk a bit about that set tomorrow as well. There'll be a link to that here for when it goes live. And also I'll be making a playlist on my channel so you can catch up on all of my November videos if you wish. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.